Iran's hardline President Ibrahim Raisi who died in a helicopter crash has long been seen as a protégé to Iran's supreme leader and a potential successor for his position within the country's Shiite theocracy. Raisi was instrumental in taking Iran back to the conservative beliefs of the country's founders. Raisi came into spotlight in 1988 over his alleged involvement in the mass execution of prisoners. The US Treasury in 2019 sanctioned Raisi for what it called his administrative oversight over the executions of individuals who were juveniles at the time of their crime and the torture and other cruel, inhuman, or degrading treatment or punishment of prisoners in Iran, including amputations. Raisi had denied the allegations. 63-year-old Raisi previously ran Iran's judiciary. He ran unsuccessfully for president in 2017 against Hassan Rouhani, the relatively moderate cleric who as president reached Tehran's 2015 nuclear deal with world powers. In 2021, Raisi ran again in an election that saw all of his potentially prominent opponents barred for running under Iran's vetting system. He swept nearly 62% of the 28.9 million votes, the lowest turnout by percentage in the Islamic Republic's history. Raisi recently supported attacking Israel in a massive assault in April that saw over 300 drones and missiles fired at the country in response for a suspected Israeli attack that killed Iranian generals at the country's embassy compound in Syria.